Upper Rio Mina watershed area produces much of the water for Clarendon and adjoining parishes. Yet, it is ranked as one of the most severely degraded watersheds in Jamaica because of unsustainable land use practices. Climate change impacts such as prolonged drought and severe flooding have also negatively impacted the natural resources, livelihoods and food security there. The Adaptation Program and Financing Mechanism AP and FM, for the pilot program for climate resilience works to strengthen the adaptive capacity for various sectors and build resilience to climate change. The AP and FM funded the provision of five aquaponic systems, an innovative climate adaptation agricultural technique to five communities in the Upper Rio Mina watershed area, Anon Town, Riches, Alston, Johns Hall, and James Hill in Clarendon. Aquaponics is like the new wonder in our community. We are so excited about it because it's the first we have seen something like this. Aquaponics combines fish farming with soilless crop production. InMed Partnerships for Children was contracted by the AP and FM to provide technical support for five communities to get their aquaponics systems built and operational. InMed is an international non-profit organization working on climate smart agriculture and opportunities for sustainable livelihoods. We were contracted to build out these systems and provide training to ensure their successes. It will be a social enterprise that will provide profits to the community. The aquaponics farm is climate smart agriculture. It entails using fish to fertilize crops. So the fish are stored in tanks. The water is pumped from the fish tanks into the grow beds. The gravel in the grow beds filter the water. The roots trap the fertilizer and the filtered water goes back to the fish. So it's, it's a recycling process that is called a closed loop. It's taking you from the traditional farming method and showing you something new, an easier way, a shorter period of time to cultivate it. The process is supposed to heal double the production of traditional farming. Whatever the environment is, this has a controlled setup. You can earn more, produce more, not just fish, but also vegetables. And it is a win-win because it is also environmentally friendly. The crops are clean. We have no soil to contend with and we use less chemicals. The chemicals we use are biofriendly because they have to be biofriendly for the fish. Apart from having healthy food, we use up less land space and we also use less workmanship. The farmers have been growing lettuce, pak choy, scallion and strawberries. The Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA, provides extension services and training to farmers across the country. We at RADA believe that farming is a business and as such we implore farmers to seek a market before establishing any crop. If the farmer is not able to supply that market, the farmer then can approach RADA's marketing officer at the parish level and he will work to find a linkage for that farmer to our market. And what we are rather intend to do is train these farmers for them to be better managers so they can tap into different marketing streams. The aquaponics farms are managed by farmers or community groups who have learned a lot from their good and bad experiences. I would encourage other communities, first and foremost, try to get the property fence because we have had persons coming in and tampering with the pipes pulling up the plants. Things like continuously getting feeding for the fish, and we can't afford it. The youth who is hungry, we can't get them to be a part of this when we don't have a stipend to give them. We cannot do it alone. We'll have to share ideas, share resources. So we have to learn from the others and seek help from the various institutions having to do with farming. Our aim is for food security in this area and the, the people who we are targeting are the elderly and the younger people. We intend to boost the development for the communities, educationally, socially and economically. It's for creating employment and assistance for needy persons in the community.
The impact is significant on the community in that it offers a means of income for persons. Also, we want to use our farm to teach traditional farmers that they can actually use this farm to change the way they do things that will make living better for us and safer. The experience was good because it keeps me going. I take it as an opportunity to come out here three, four times for the day to feed the fishes and to see that the pump is running correctly. I love this project and it is greatly appreciated for the community as a development and that's why I put all my interest in it. We are enthusiastic, it's awesome, we are excited about it. The experience with aquaponics farming has been tremendous. It has done a lot for the community, which is a good thing. And I would encourage other persons to become a part of aquaponics farming. It is going to pay off in the long run. So we are going to continue to work. We will not quit because we are winners and it's going to work for us.